there are quite a few world events at this point and they're all pretty unique so today i'm going to be breaking them down and explaining how each one of them works there are exactly six world events the skeleton fort the fort of fortune the skeleton fleet the ghost fleet ashen winds and the kraken we'll start off with the skeleton fort as this is probably the most simple out of all the world events when you see this cloud in the sky, all you have to do is head over in that direction. This cloud will always be floating directly above a fort. Not like a sea fort, but a fort like one of these. As you get closer, you'll be met with cannon fire. But once you get close enough to the island, the skeleton shooting you will despawn and will be replaced with the skeletons that are actually part of the waves of skeletons that you're required to vanquish to advance the rounds. You'll need to clear out 12 waves of skeletons here that includes 3 captains. After completing those, there will be one final wave. A boss wave where one of 3 skeleton lords will spawn. Once you defeat the boss, it'll drop a key and allow you to open the vault in the center of the fort. This world event may be one of the least lucrative ones, but I'd say it's definitely still worth stopping by because it's also the easiest. Next up we have the Fort of Fortune. This world event can be seen from across the seas as the skull cloud similar to the regular skeleton fort. But this one has orange eyes and some orange streaks across its face. The Fort of Fortune is still one of the most contested events in the entire game. All because of this one chest. The Chest of Fortune, which can be used for commendation and also unlock some awesome cosmetics. But the vault also has a lot more treasure, and higher value overall. This fort works mostly similarly to the regular skeleton fort, but it's much more difficult. After all of the waves of skeletons are finished, you'll encounter a much tougher boss, an Ashen Lord. Not only is this boss difficult, it can also make it very hard to see the potential incoming enemies who want to battle for the chest of fortune. And they also have an attack that could put your ship at risk by raining down huge meteors from the sky. Speaking of Ashen Lords, that brings us directly to the third world event on this list, the Ashen Winds. This world event can be recognized as a massive red tornado type storm in the sky. This event is essentially just the boss fight from the Fort of Fortune. Unlike Fort of Fortune though, after defeating the boss, there's no vault key, or even a vault at all. All of the loot you get will just kind of scatter around the boss's death location. All of the treasure found in this world event will be the Devil's Roar or Ashen variants, which will make them just a little more valuable. Next up is the Kraken. Although this event is widely regarded as not a world event, as there is no global marker for it, a Kraken can only occur when there's no other ongoing world events. You'll be able to tell when this event starts because the water around your ship will go dark. It'll get super inky and your ship will slow down nearly to a stop. Soon after that, you'll see a bunch of tentacle emerge from the water. To complete this event and get unstuck, you'll have to defeat these tentacles, and you can use anything to do damage to them. The amount of tentacles you have to defeat is based on the kind of ship you're currently sailing when the event starts. A sloop needs to defeat 2 or 3, a brig around 5 or 6, and a galleon around 7 to 8 tentacles. Minding that you'll also be actively attacked by it while you're trying to defeat it. The Kraken will slam your ship, squeeze its tentacles around it, and also suck up pirates and drown them in the water. As far as the loot goes for the Kraken event, each tentacle defeated will drop some loot. A skeleton fleet is indicated by a large ship-shaped cloud. This event will consist of three waves of one to two ships once someone has entered the event area. These ships can be sloops or galleons. Although this event is quite different because of the amount of skeleton ships, the ships are not unique from the regular skeleton ships that you'll see sailing around the sea. All of these ships drop normal skeleton ship loot aside from the final ship from the event which will drop a regular loot as well as a bunch of bonus loot for completing the world event. Last but not least we have the ghost fleet event. This world is very special because it's currently the only way in the game to get wraith balls. These cannonballs are in a way kind of similar to curse balls but just way way stronger. This world event can be identified by the massive green tornado in the sky that's similar in size to the ashen windstorm. In this world event, you're tasked with defeating ghost ships, and once you kill enough of them, a new wave will start. This second wave will have small fleets of three ships sailing around. These fleets will consist of two normal ghost ships and one ship with the sails of the ashen dragon. Once you defeat that one, you'll advance to the next wave that's just like the first wave. A very easy wave where you just need to defeat some normal ghost ships. The next and final wave is much more dangerous than any other part of any other world event. A boss fleet of five ships will spawn. Four bodyguard ships in A plus shape with the burning blade boss ship in the middle. Defeating the boss from this event will drop quite a lot of loot. Treasure of the Damned, and most importantly, the Wraith Balls. 